It's really important to talk about the energy. So I want to do an energy update and talk about ascension symptoms that you may be experiencing. There is a lot of chaotic energy in the collective right now surrounding the election, uh, and it's going to continue for months after that. So you may be experiencing a lot of anxiousness, and that is a sign that you are not anchored or grounded into your body and connected fully with the planet. You are up in your mental field. This energy is not moving, so it's making you anxious. And collectively, that is, that's what's happening in a big, big way. So many people are anxious. It's unconscious. They're not awake that we are on this amazing new timeline. We're just here watching it unfold based on events that happened in the past that open up portals and set the stage for a massive timeline shift. We are just simply watching that timeline shift unfold. It's evolving. And it's an amazing time right now to be here. But the anxiety is going to come up in you to show you that you need to get more grounded, anchor into your body, and become more present. So it's important throughout your day to focus into your body, to breathe, focus on your breath, imagine um, tree roots going down deep into the planet to fully anchor yourself to Gaia. She will help you remain stable and aligned as all of this chaotic energy that was previously embedded in the Earth's energetic field is now coming up to be experienced. So you as a light worker have an amazing opportunity right now to do your part in healing the planet. There have been messages coming in from my Pleiadian guide around the importance of being able to trust that everything is happening for your highest good. Despite what your senses are showing you or telling you, the chaos that we see unfolding in reality and certainly the chaos that is going to unfold over the next couple of months, it is so important to remember to stay grounded, anchored, and to trust that everything is unfolding for our highest good. We are on this ascension timeline. Now, that being said, with the anxiety, it's bringing up stress, you may be experiencing some really powerful ascension symptoms. Aside from the emotional, physically, a lot of back pain, a lot of body aches, maybe flu-like symptoms, things like that are surfacing right now is your body's way of pointing you back inward. Again, energy slows down. When we're too vested and tied up in the reality, when we become what's happening in the reality, or we match that lower frequency of that energy that's coming up, our energy slows down. And our body will get our attention by bringing it back in through pain, aches, maybe flu-like symptoms, like I said, back pain, joint aches, very, very prevalent right now. Maybe a lot of throat stuff where you may be having issues speaking and communicating, right? So chakras are trying to become aligned right now. Space is being held by our galactic family. So all of this has an opportunity to move into alignment so that you could get energy flowing. And this new timeline that we've entered, is it's wanting to manifest, right? So we need to help it. We need to to remove the wobbles, remove the energy blocks within the body so your body is going to show you where you need to focus, where you need to bring attention. If it's your lower back, there's some stability grounding issues there that your body is telling you. So again, envision yourself connected deep into the earth. Breathe into your lower back. Breathe into your sacral. Breathe into your solar plexus. Breathe into your root chakra. Allow your mind to slow down and help get energy moving. When you can do that, you will connect with a sense of peace, a sense of love, and a sense of trust that everything is unfolding as it should. The main message here that I want to, to bring forward is that trust is key, despite what your senses are showing you. Things are going to look very chaotic. I cannot stress that enough. Do not buy into it. Stay aligned, stay centered, stay connected with your body, and that will allow you to change those goggles of distortion 
into goggles of clarity. You'll be able to see what's truly happening. People and players are playing their role to give you an opportunity to awaken, to see through all the noise, to see through all the nonsense, to see through all the lies. All of these things are designed to keep you small, to control you. But we are now on a timeline of expansion and empowerment. So we are taking our power back. If you're being drawn into your solar plexus, because you've got some pain, maybe some reflux, maybe some digestive issues, again, back pain, those types of pains directing you back into the lower chakras. Get that energy moving. Take your power back. Take control. Don't allow external forces to control you. It all starts within. So you are now having an opportunity. You've been given an opportunity to see the truth, to see the landscape. All of this old control matrix, this disempowering energy is coming up and it's being seen. It's being exposed. So see it for what it is. It's an old dying matrix, an old dying world, an old dying timeline. You are anchoring into a higher frequency timeline and your body is showing you the way, exactly what's been holding you back. Just be present with the aches. Be present with the pains. If you're experiencing these flu-like symptoms, slow it down, hydrate, be okay with just being. Slow it down. There's nothing that needs to be done in this moment. Observe what's happening in the collective and see it for what it is. It's an old timeline falling away. If you're watching this channel, if you have been following me or subscribed to this channel, you are on the highest frequency timeline. All you need to do is trust, like my Pleiadian guide said, trust in the journey. Know that things have already been put into motion. We are just observing it all unfold. If it's already happened, then all you need to do is trust in your experience. Don't try to control things. Don't try to change things. Simply be present. Be the observer. Find that sense of peace, calm, stillness, that sense of love, that sense of trust. Stay anchored to the body. Gaia is assisting you, holding space for you. Anchor into the planet. And your guides, your star guides, are here as well, watching and observing this amazing shift for humanity that is unfolding as we speak. Get the best seat in the house possible seated in your root chakra, seated deep into your body. Bring consciousness inward, observe, watch the movie. Things are gonna get amazing.